Beneath the roar of engines and the exhilaration of high-speed racing, a storm of controversy looms over the NASCAR world. The Enjoy Illinois 300 left fans and competitors in shock as Austin Sindrick deliberately sent Austin Dillon spiraling into Ricky Stenhouse Jr., igniting a firestorm of emotions. Amidst the chaos, team owner Richard Childress emerges as a formidable voice, adamant that this was no mere racing incident. Will Sindrick face the wrath of consequences? Well, for starters, nobody wins without subscribing to this channel, so do it now. Richard Childress's menacing insights into NASCAR's high-stakes showdown. Just when we thought we had seen it all with Denny Hamlin versus Chase Elliott feud, the racing gods bestowed upon us a new spectacle that left jaws dropping and hearts pounding. The stage was set for a showdown like no other, pitting the formidable talents of Austin Sindrick against the relentless determination of Austin Dillon. As the Enjoy Illinois 300 race reached its climax, with only 22 laps remaining, the crowd held its breath as Sendrick's car collided with the back end of Dillon's, triggering a mesmerizing domino effect that swept up Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in its chaotic wake. And who better to provide us with captivating insights than the legendary Richard Childress himself? Childress wasted no time in acknowledging Bush's invaluable contributions to the organization, highlighting his remarkable track record of wins and his unparalleled ability to inspire confidence within the team. Furthermore, Childress shone a spotlight on Bush's pivotal role in nurturing Austin's growth and development as a driver, leaving us all pondering the intricate web of rivalries and alliances that exist within the high-octane world of NASCAR. Exposing the Dark Side of NASCAR's Payback Drama Childress boldly labeled the wreck as a deliberate act of payback, a calculated move aimed at derailing Austin's progress and leaving him in the dust. Following the nail-biting race, where Sindrick secured a 13th place finish, questions swirled around the incident that had unfolded on the asphalt. At first, Sindrick chose to remain tight-lipped, leaving fans and pundits speculating about the motivations behind the intentional wreck. However, later discussions with Ford Performance revealed that Sindrick acknowledged the need to address and improve upon certain matters, a telling admission that hinted at the gravity of the situation. The stage was set during the final stage of the race, where drivers fought tooth and nail for a coveted strong finish at the thrilling one-and-a-quarter-mile track near St. Louis. It was in this high-pressure environment that Austin Dillon and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. found themselves locked in a fierce battle for 12th place on lap 219. As tensions reached their peak, fate intervened, and their cars violently collided with the unforgiving wall leaving a trail of debris and shattered dreams. The incident, captured on camera, became a subject of intense scrutiny as fans and experts analyzed the footage, dissecting each frame for evidence of deliberate intent. And upon meticulous review of the replay, a startling truth emerged. Sindrick's contact with the right rear of Dylan's car was the catalyst that set off the explosive chain reaction. The Sinister Showdown at the Enjoy Illinois 300 The clash unfolded in a blaze of fury, sending Dillon's vehicle into a wild spin and drawing unsuspecting Ricky Stenhouse Jr. into the destructive dance. As the dust settled, the two Chevrolet Camaros stood wrecked against the unyielding outside wall, while Sindrick skillfully navigated the chaos and surged forward. The incident triggered a caution but the magnitude of the wreckage demanded more. A red flag to halt the race and urgently repair the battered turn one wall. In the eerie silence that fell upon the track, a rising chorus of voices condemned Sindrick's actions, convinced that this was no mere racing incident. Comparisons were drawn to the suspension of Chase Elliott for his controversial hook on Denny Hamlin during the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Although Elliott himself was absent from the Enjoy Illinois 300, the suspension cast a long shadow, leaving fans wondering if history would repeat itself. 
NASCAR, with its unwavering commitment to fairness and safety, will undoubtedly launch a thorough investigation into the Sunday incident that shattered the peace of the racetrack. While the world awaited the outcome, Richard Childress, an authoritative figure in the NASCAR realm, pulled no punches in expressing his unwavering stance. To hear him, the truth was crystal clear. Cindric's contact with Dylan was no accident. It was a calculated move, a deliberate strike aimed at ruthlessly eliminating a rival from the race. I was wrecked intentionally by him, Dylan declared, the fire of indignation burning in his eyes, drawing parallels to the clashes between Chase Elliott and Denny Hamlin, as well as Bubba Wallace's incident last year. Will NASCAR deliver a swift suspension for Cindric? Austin Cindric must face the consequences. The comparisons are drawn, the precedent set. Both Elliott and Wallace felt the weight of NASCAR's hand with one race suspensions for their own right rear hooks. Wallace's daring move transpired in the midst of the 2022 season, while Elliott's recent transgression is still fresh in the minds of fans. As the echoes of these suspensions reverberate through the racing community, a lingering question hovers in the air. Will NASCAR take a firm stand against another driver guilty of a deliberate right rear hook? From disappointment to frustration. The bitter taste of disappointment lingers in the air as Ricky Stenhouse Jr. opens up about the turn of events that shattered his hopes of securing an eighth consecutive top 15 finish. The roller coaster ride that unfolded at the Cup Series race took Stenhouse from the brink of glory to the confines of the infield care center. Reflecting on the day's events, he couldn't help but express his frustration at the sudden twist of fate that derailed his performance. The resilience of their number 47 NOS Energy Drink Chevy had been undeniable throughout the race, enabling them to fiercely maintain their track position. With precious stage points within their grasp, Stenhouse believed they had a car capable of conquering the top eight, a remarkable improvement from the previous year. The momentum was building, the prospects promising, yet the crash that unfolded abruptly shattered those dreams. As Stenhouse delved into the details of the incident, he revealed that the collision appeared to be an unexpected contact between Cindric's number two car and the right rear of Dylan's number three car, the impact was devastating, abruptly sidelining both Chevrolet drivers from contention. The looming question remains, will NASCAR penalize Cendric for his role in the crash? The answer lies in the hands of the sanctioning body, who must first evaluate the incident and scrutinize the available data and information. A triumphant symphony. Sunday's triumph reverberated through the racing world, leaving no doubt that Kyle Busch had delivered his boldest performance of the season. The resounding statement made at the race spoke volumes, but behind the scenes, it was the exceptional display of Richard Childress Racing that truly stole the show. With unwavering competence, the team orchestrated a symphony of brilliance, propelling Busch to new heights. The journey to victory was paved with remarkable achievements. On Saturday, Bush showcased his prowess by securing the pole position, setting the stage for an extraordinary race day. As the green flag waved, he wasted no time making his mark, claiming a decisive victory in stage one. The intensity continued to build, with Bush tantalizingly close to clinching stage two, only to be denied in the final moments. Undeterred, he navigated through a maze of restarts in the race's climactic stretch fending off a fierce lineup of competitors, including Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, and Joey Logano. In the end, Bush emerged victorious, basking in the glory of a hard-fought battle. The racing community remains divided, eagerly awaiting NASCAR's verdict and the potential consequences that lie ahead. Will Cindric face suspension, adding another chapter to the ongoing saga of penalties in the sport? Will NASCAR implement even tougher measures to curb dangerous on-track behavior? The anticipation is palpable as fans and insiders alike ponder the future of racing in the wake of this controversial incident. 
If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned to our channel for more updates and insights on the world of NASCAR and motorsports. And as always, thanks for watching.